We're making a fun summer healthy treat. So I have half of a banana on a popsicle stick. You don't have to do the popsicle stick. I just thought it would make it even more fun to make these into a popsicle type dessert. So we are dipping it into some peanut butter. Now I'm going to take some peanuts and just dip it right into my peanuts till it's nice and coated. And then for our final step, I'm taking some melted chocolate and that is gonna go right over top. So I can kind of grab a spoon here, makes it a little bit easier. And we're just gonna coat it in our melted chocolate. These are gonna be so delicious. We're gonna place them in the freezer after this and they're gonna almost turn into kind of an ice cream vibe. The bananas in the freezer just kind of end up tasting like ice cream and they give the same texture as ice cream. This is gonna be so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and place it on my parchment paper lined tray. Made a little bit of a mess here, but that's fine. So we're gonna repeat that with our second banana slice. You could do this with more obviously, but I'm just gonna do two for today. So it's just one banana sliced in half. I melted my peanut butter in the microwave a little bit just so that it would be easier to coat my banana but you don't have to do that. I just did it so it would be a little bit easier and things would go a little bit smoother. So once we have that, we're gonna take our peanut mixture, dip it into our peanuts. I am so excited to eat these. Let me know in the comments, is it been hot where you are? Because where I live, it has been so hot. So these are the perfect treat to make where you don't have to turn on your oven or bake anything. All you do is place them in the freezer and then you have a nice treat to cool you down on these hot summer days. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and place these in the freezer. You could stick them in the freezer overnight, but I'm gonna say like at least two hours. We just want the bananas to harden a bit and the chocolate to fully set. So I'm gonna place them in the freezer for about two hours and then we'll come back and try them out. All right, our Snickers banana peanut butter pops are out of the freezer. So I did learn that these actually work a bit better when you dip them in the peanut butter and the peanuts and then stick them in the freezer for maybe just like 15 minutes and then do the chocolate. It just helps for those peanuts to stay on the banana a little bit better. But nonetheless, they will taste delicious either way. So I'm super excited to try these. I think that the frozen banana is gonna give it an ice cream feel and then with the peanut butter, the peanuts and the chocolate, it's just gonna be an absolutely delicious dessert. So let's try it out. I cannot get over how good this is. The banana flavor isn't super strong if you're not super into banana desserts but it just seriously gives the same texture as ice cream. These are probably one of the best things I've made in a while. I am gonna be making these all summer long. Let me know in the comments, would you try out these banana pops? Let me know if you would try them out, and if you do, let me know what you think, because I am obsessed.